guys, the flashlight has arrived. At least I think this is the one. It's called in the NPM Oi Company box. It doesn't really matter which one it is. It is from the Campere World Hendrix. I know that shop, so the, those two shops are one shop. I kind of didn't expect that, but that doesn't matter. It's still alright. that paper on the side okay let's look what that this thing is so it's a camping badge or something like that I'm not sure what doesn't matter Okay, so I'll just adjust my tripod again to be a bit lower. Okay, so we did get uh, some kind of magazine. I kind of care about that thing. Some more advertising. And then these are the two 18650 batteries. That is pretty nice. 3400 milliamp hours. The original real ones. So these are the good ones. Let's try if we can open it this way. Or how do these things open? They're tight. Okay. They do feel a bit more heavy, heavy than the other one. Should be a bit easier now, isn't it? Yes. Okay, so these were the batteries that were 20 euro a piece. So these are the real original ones. And also let's put this thing in the charger. We have these in the charger. So let's put in these. Which they are half full, but I kind of expected that. Both of them, one is 16, one is 59 percent, so that's fine. Then the case itself, let's move this thing back a bit. It's a pretty big case, is it focusing all right. Now it is. So, here's the flashlight, it says it can do one kilometer, 360 hours runtime total. Yes, it's a pretty nice case, it isn't too heavy at all. Five year warranty. Yeah, two meters waterproof. Ooh, this case is really nice. It's that soft, well, enough what you have in a car. It's the nice soft stuff. That's awesome. Then the user manual and new products. Let's see what they have more. Ooh. Okay, well, nothing really special. Then this case, it is pretty sturdy. It isn't like that cheap Chinese stuff. That book is also pretty sturdy, complete. Then, well, it isn't too big at all. It really isn't big. I don't know where my other flashlight is. Uh, here's the other one. Let me get it once. This is my old one, and this is a new one. 
So this thing isn't really bigger, although the extension tube still has to go on there. But still it isn't really bigger. That is a bit bigger, but still isn't, it's not as big as I expected. But that's pretty nice. Nice switch. And then let's put this one on here. You also have the extension tube for the other batteries. The, oh, let's put it down a bit. And uh, turn it. The case feels really nice. That's awesome. Okay, now let's get the batteries. Let's get this thing a bit narrow back. This thing isn't small at all. 61 and 60%, so that's fine. If I'm correct, uh, the positive should go in first. Then this thing goes on. The end cap and the switch. Okay, it goes the other way. Okay. I wasn't really sure. This LED so it doesn't matter that much. Oh. Okay guys, well the battery was the positive down, so remember that and just screw the threads good. That's probably why it wasn't working. But well, it is pretty light I have to say. It isn't heavy at all, it isn't bulky, it's kind of like my other flashlight. And now it's bright. <laughs> Jeez! <coughs> so this should be low, then fuel this button, and then this, this is moonlight mode, so this will burn like 360 hours or something like that, really long, well, it is nice and heavy and everything, uh, I like it, it's durable, it feels, it feel, doesn't feel cheap at all. Well, this is what to be expected expected for a flashlight this price price range, but still. The case is also rather nice. I won't use this tube, but always I need to keep in there. You do get some spare O-rings, that, that's nice that they included that. Then here is the extension tube of course, but yeah. This thing uses the D-domed uh, um, L, uh, no, what was it? I'm not sure. There's so many of these kinds of things. I have yet to feel, so I just put it on there. But the inside is pretty nice, it feels soft. If I'm correct, this thing just goes in there. How did it fit? Ah. Oh, that way, I'm not sure. Okay, that way. Um, doesn't really say it, I guess. Extended range variable output LED flashlight. Yeah. I'm not sure. But it is one meter impact resistant, at least. And uh, you polarity protection, but it is LED, so that's all basic. Uh, strobe. Strobe, strobe, strobe. How did we do that? That's also here. With a little paper here. All the things how we should do it. So for strobe, what's it? Of uh, strobe. Hold for one second. So on. Now was it this one? Yes. Oh, that's annoying. If you see it close, you can see a ring in the middle of there, but from a distance there isn't any. Jeez. That's annoying. Jeez. Yeah, it's I have to say it's pretty, it's com more compact than I thought. 
That feels nice and heavy and everything. It doesn't really roll over, is it? Yeah. Could be better. Then this holder, I don't really like this one. But I guess you can remove this one, I guess. Isn't it? Uh, yes, you can remove that. But there are double rings in there, so I won't. I don't always like that cigar grip there. I will put some grease on the O-rings. So it doesn't, well, get tight and everything. The thing is yeah, bright. You also can feel the heat if you put your hand in front of it. So yeah. And it's pretty compact. It's really compact. And camera really doesn't like that at all. And it is the D-domed oh, the D domed LED. So that's pretty nice. Well, that's it for today. I'll do a test and everything later. Then I will get all my flashlights, flashlights out there. But yeah, the thing is awesome. So, see ya.